yeah, that that's an interesting thought. Um, and like I say, probably only scary if you need if you have something to hide. But very good. So let's start to digital number ten. And uh, if you are like me, you're probably into. Uh, the Black Mirror show, and uh, um, you may remember the nosedive episode. You know the one where uh, you had this uh, um, wedding, wedding um, this girl that was about to get married, and uh, she asked a friend to be at her wedding, and everybody was rating people based on things such as you know uh, being polite during. Uh, a Starbucks experience or something like that. That uh, you know, to me, was very. It was very probably one of my favorite episodes in in uh, a Black Mirror uh, show. And um, it's it's funny to to see how many things um, how many things that we we actually saw in Black Mirror are becoming reality, and uh, how how many things that we saw in Black Mirror are uh, really uh, getting out of the science fiction side of it and um, this time we talk about airbnb uh, because what airbnb did and you probably remember james and and akemi you probably remember that uh, um, a few months ago uh, and i think it was an apartment in london if i remember correctly and uh, was uh, was trashed by um some some guests that uh, rented the apartment and they actually organized a rave party in the apartment <laughs> And uh, we were talking about a 2.5 million pound uh, um, apartment. So you can imagine that the, the, the host was not so happy about that. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so what, and, you know, these things can happen, you know, it's, uh, it's normal. It's, uh, it can happen in hotels and, uh, you know, it can, it can happen even more uh, when it comes to apartments. Uh, what Airbnb did was to come up with a, a proprietary uh, technology and uh, uh, it's an AI uh, it's an AI system that can actually analyze guests uh, online personas uh, to calculate the chances of them trashing apartments and all the social networks of um, of uh, the, the potential guests looking for uh, you know threats uh, as uh, such as neuroticism or uh, you know, involvement in crimes, uh, narcissism for some strange reason. Um, uh, from what I heard, uh, they 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 look precisely even for a picture where uh, the the users are consuming alcohol or consuming drugs, and uh, you know, and they look for. And I'm quoting here: some other traits they're looking for is uh, psychopathy. That it's you know. <laughs> It's kind of weird, and uh, okay. but there, there, there is one that I really loved because the software looks for Machiavellianism kind of trait of personality, and uh, so I think it's a, it's a poetical way to say that they're looking for uh, people uh, that are um, likely not to destroy the the apartments. So I mean, it's. It's kind of weird. Uh, I don't think it's nothing new. Uh, no. You know, uh, even when you, uh, let's face it, even when you have to hire somebody, and I can't, I'm pretty sure you do the same whenever you want to, uh, to, to hire somebody in, in, uh, uh, in Bespoke, uh, the first thing you do is you take a look at uh, the social network of, uh, of these people. But to have a system that uh, does it for you automatically, I think it's... Uh, a scary improvement uh what's your take guys on that yeah sorry i'll go ahead yeah um yeah i mean you're quite right it's the the idea of it nothing new it's something people employers anything like that have been doing for a long time and it's great to review this information because it's some of the most freely available and easy accessed information to build up a picture about someone's behavior um, that's available. So yes, now, as you say, having 
some AI having a system that does this automatically. That is a, a scary improvement. Um, I think, I guess it's only scary if there is something out there that um, you think could count against you. I mean, most people these days, I would expect, are pretty aware of what they put out on a social network that that's going to be allowing people to build up um, a picture about them. It's giving them knowledge. You know, you can see by the, like you say, the types of photographs, the status updates, the groups you belong to, the things you like within social media gives people a good idea about your interests, habits, your persona. Um, the fact that something is now able to troll this and use AI to build a picture that is quite, yeah, that, that's an interesting thought. Um, and like I say, probably only scary if you need, if you have something to hide, but it does make you really think twice about what you're sharing through social channels now and what impact that could have on your future. Definitely. Akemi, what's your thought on that? Because I, James, by the way, I, I, I agree 100% with you. <laughs> cool. Sure, so my thoughts on this, uh, two different things, right? First is like, isn't it actually just cheaper to charge higher um, amount of deposit instead of like scanning everything through it, right? Because Could be, but like uh, I'm thinking, you know, 2.5 million pounds apartment. <laughs> uh, I don't know how much we should charge <laughs> as a deposit, but yes, you're right. Yeah. Uh, you know, on, on average apartment, I think that could be a, a solution without yeah. getting, getting so right. invasive. Go on. Right, because I feel like maybe uh, incidents like that doesn't happen very often. And then oftentimes, it doesn't really happen to, you know, places like two and a half uh, million dollar apartment or a pound apartment, right? Um, so I feel like uh, if you are realistic about <laughs> the financial aspect of it, it's probably much cheaper if you just charge much higher deposit because uh, creating the system, running the system, um, you know, main doing maintenance on the system is actually pretty high we didn't think about all of those things when we first started the company <laughs> because now we do you know build our own ai engine for many different things but oftentimes like maintenance costs ends up becoming much 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 higher than what we initially like calculated right and then the second thing is that um well like i think running through uh you know personal stuff uh, it's maybe uh, it would work in some countries, but like you know, other countries, people are more sensitive about like privacy policy and like personal information and all that stuff. And I also personally don't post a lot of uh, you know, I don't share my personal life on like social media. So uh, for those people, I don't know how many percentage of like populations uh, are, but um, it's a little bit hard to catch. What do you think? I think you're totally right. I mean, uh, uh, I think I always say that we we are we are probably the the last generation with scraped knees. And what mm -hmm. I intend with that is that we are the last generation that still has uh, some kind of makes some kind of difference between real life and online life. Yeah. And so I, I think James has a point when he says that. Uh, you know, this is this is, and I have my own policy. You know, if you if, if it's something you won't say to your mother, uh, it's not worth posting on on uh, on any social network. Totally, totally. And, and uh, so I I think there is a shift. There is a there is a behavior uh, behavior and cultural shift when it comes to uh, using social media. But right. the problem, and this is where I do agree with you, Akemi, is that there are a lot of people, and I'm. I'm thinking, you know, paradoxically enough, I'm thinking about older people. You know, when I look at the way my my dad uh, uses uh, use uh, uh, Facebook, for example, uh, I I can see that a lot of the stuff that he published uh, is 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 not really politically correct, and you know, and if if put into a more kind of corporate reality, that could be right. easily twisted. So yeah. I think this could create some. Probably will create more more awareness and more you know uh, will give better guidelines to how to use social network, but uh, it's something that we we'll probably will need to get used to. And uh, but again, I think we all do it anyway, even without the use of AI. I'm pretty sure that whenever we have to 
judge a person, we do we do that uh, by starting by the information they give on social networks. So, I mean, it's it opens some interesting scenarios. Let's see let's see how it goes. And um, James, I I sent you via the the, the internal chat. Yeah. Uh, an article that maybe you want to share with the rest of the of the viewers uh, about you know in in China uh, they they use this uh, this um, um, scoring system uh, as an experiment. So it's uh, again it's what we what we saw is nothing new, and uh, but it's interesting that it's coming from somebody as big as Airbnb. So let's see how this is going to develop. But you know, quite interesting news.